Hi guys, it's me, Thomas. I uploaded Halbert back. How did it get with it? It's gotten bad, huh? My ADD just, I need to start taking my medication again. Yeah, hi, welcome back to yet another video. Today's video is going to be an anti-haul. I haven't done one of these in a minute and I kind of want to just, you know, get back into the swing of things with just a super negative video. Hi guys, it's me, Negative Nancy, back at it again with yet another negative video. Today's video is gonna be super negative, um, super negative and very, very negative. Um, all of my opinions are gonna be very negative and just everything in this video is just going to be just uh, full of just negativity and just negative, you know? Uh, yeah, in all seriousness, Today's video is gonna be fun. I love filming anti-hauls. You guys always request them. Now, the way I do anti-hauls is completely different from the actual originator of anti-hauls, which is Kimberly, which is Kimberly, okay, Thomas. But yes, Kimberly Clark is honestly one of my favorite YouTubers to watch here on YouTube, so definitely check her out. She is the originator of the anti-haul. Uh, I believe she's the first one to ever do an anti-haul, so definitely check her out. I wanna give her her prop, by the way. One second, one second. <laughs> I released merch like a week ago. Listen, I haven't been on YouTube. I'm sorry. It's been a week since I've had this merch out. But you have one week left to actually purchase my Yikes merch. Let me talk about it. Sorry, I know. There's going to be a lot of comments being like, video starts at this time. But listen, this is important. This is actually important. Probably just to me. I have released merch. I have um, a full-on sweatsuit collection moment. It's called Yikes. Literally on the, if you couldn't tell on the actual sweater and sweatpants, it says yikes. Yikes is like one of those things in my channel that I use a lot. I say yikes a lot in my videos. I put yikes in my <laughs> titles a lot. I put yikes in my thumbnails a lot. So yes, my merch is available now, but you can only get it until July 10th, which is seven days from now or eight days? Seven days. You have one more week left to purchase the sweatsuit. Um, all the sizing information, all the pricing, everything like that will be on the website shopthomashalbert.com. Go there. Even if you don't know if you're going to buy anything, just go check out the site. Um, and I can't wait to see the pictures of everyone wearing them. And yes, I'm going to be promoting the F out of this all week until it is July 10th. With that being said, please subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me. We're so close to 400,000 subscribers, which means, again, we're closer to 500,000. Then you, next thing you know, I'm at a million, then I'm at 2 million, then I'm at 10 million. And then, you know, next thing you know, I have more subscribers than PewDiePie. So just, like, seriously subscribe because I'm thinking... This time next year, I could have 100 million subscribers. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Like, math. So the first thing I will not be purchasing with my hard-earned coin is the new Fenty Beauty Collection. I know I'm going to get so much shit for this. But to me, I was really, really excited for the first launch of Fenty Beauty. I was really excited for the complexion products, the foundation range. Everything about that was just really sickening to me. But I feel like slowly for me the hype of Fenty Beauty slowly just went down I think what really kind of turned me off from the brand is the winter collection to me the winter collection was just like such a bust for me just looking at it I didn't even purchase it but looking at it like a full palette that was full of metallics at the beginning they were coming out with some new cool things like trophy wife was something that I've never seen before like that's not a highlighter shade that I've ever seen before um, those con those like the there was some innovation behind the products that they were releasing as far as like the Moroccan spice palette that's coming out it's just stuff that I've seen done before and like shades that I've seen done before to me palettes are like one of those things that I'm just not I don't get excited for anymore I'm more excited about like complexion products but I still love the original products that I tried a long time ago when it first launched I still use I'm wearing the gloss bomb today um, I still wear that almost all the time I still wear the primer i did not like the jack and hill vault collection you guys kind of saw that in the video that i filmed it's my last video on my channel i will link it on the eye up here but i just did going on into the rest of the palettes it just was not good it's not like the original jack and hill palette that i fell in love with a year ago it, it's just something off about these eyeshadows and actually recently 
they have decided to postpone the actual release of the palettes to, I think, because of influencer reviews. I do appreciate the fact that they've tried to make it better and they're gonna try to make it better quality because of influencer reviews. I really do appreciate that. But I think mm, what kind of bugs me a little bit is that they didn't do it the first time. I feel like <laughs> Jacqueline had the palettes. Do you know what I mean? Morphe had the palettes. They've obviously reviewed the palettes. At least I hope they did. And it just kind of rubs me the wrong way. So I'm just not going to purchase them. I might bite the bullet into purchasing the palettes. But at the end of the day, um, I am the ones that I got in PR have been put into um, a donation pile uh, to, to a women's shelter. And I'm just not really going to mess with them anymore because I honestly, trying out all the palettes, it really just was a bust for me. And I don't think I'm going to try and repurchase the new ones if I don't get them in PR. I'm going to be real with you guys. I do have a Morphe code. It's Thomas Fennell Caps. I'm going to give a shameless. I'm just going to talk about it. I do have a Morphe code. Um, but to me, now Morphe is kind of like, I've lost my Morphe spark. I don't really care for Morphe products. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just more of a Morphe brushes kind of guy. I love Morphe brushes, brushes. But as far as their makeup goes ah it's always a hit or miss for me and a lot of their products i just don't think if i if i didn't get it in pr i wouldn't even purchase it in real life and they just continued the 35b but i i know why they did but i can't talk about it whatever i know y'all have been waiting for this one Huda Beauty. Huda Booty. Sweetie. Um, let's talk about the new powders and the remastered palette. Let's talk about these. I can't wait to see the comments on this one. I can't wait to see the comments when I drag Huda Beauty for the one millionth time. I know, I'm beating a dead horse at this point. Let's start off with the remastered palette. <laughs> Okay, so I have a main reason why I don't purchase some Huda Beauty, and I will link that video in the eye right here and down below if you guys want to watch it. I have a full-on review of the foundation and the Desert Dust palette, which both products I liked, minus the foundation, is, it broke me out, whatever. In that video, I explain why I do not purchase or uh, will not be supporting Huda Beauty no longer on my channel or in real life. And why a lot of other influencers, especially influencers of color, have decided to no longer work or talk about Huda Beauty as well. I haven't been on a PR list since because I gave an honest review. I gave my honest opinions on that palette. And of course, she didn't like that. A lot of brands um, in this industry prefer influencers that kind of blow smoke up their ass. A lot of brands... Uh, have taken me off their PR list because I have given honest reviews. I have not raved about their products like most influencers will because for the sake of just being on the PR list or holding that relationship with that brand, um, whatever. Uh, I have decided to not be that kind of influencer and a lot of brands don't like that. I will give my honest opinions. If I don't like a product, I don't like it. And sometimes that means I get taken off a PR list. I don't mind. I can just buy products. I have the money to do so. But Huda Beauty is one of those brands that took me off the PR list. I which is fine. I don't want to be on the PR list um, anymore for several reasons. Again, that video will be linked in the eye up here. I tried that palette and I did not like it at all. And Huda Beauty decided to remaster it and resell it. Again, people think I'm lying. People think I'm just being negative to be negative. But literally, Huda Beauty discontinued the palette because it wasn't up to par with her other products. But no, I'm the liar. Just whatever, 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 whatever. So... Now she's remastered it, and oh my god, the reviews. People do not like this palette at all. Um, again, it seems like it's just a little bit of inconsistency with her brand. It has been kind of annoying to watch. Uh, I'm just not going to buy that palette for obvious reasons. So many of you guys have asked me to review that palette, and I'm just not going to do it. That, that's, that's something that I have just... I do. I review anything, even if I don't like the brand or the person behind the brand because you guys request it um but this is just one of those things that i have to draw the line like listen people don't people already don't like this palette uh, i don't have to be that person to give an honest review because no one else is do you know what i mean that's done on that on that palette and now let's move on to these powders what really turned me off from this loose powder that huda beauty is releasing because 
again, I like some of Beauty Beauty's products. I do. I'm going to be honest. I like some of her products. So there's this brand by the name of Beauty Bakery um, that has for years now developed a brand around the idea of kitchen type stuff like cooking, like baking, cooking, all that stuff. That has been their brand. That has been their bread and butter. You know what I mean? No pun intended. And then Huda Beauty has, th has this brand, Huda Beauty. That is literally nothing like that. It's glam. It's desert inspired. It's Dubai. Like that. Like her culture. Her. You know the names. The the everything like that is inspired by the desert. The where she lives. Her culture. Everything. Except for these fucking loose powders, which <laughs> which is literally baking, cooking, all that kind of thing, inspired. Which is literally it's literally been done and done better by Beauty Bakery. Done the right way by Beauty Bakery. Huda Beauty has a history of only posting black women on her Instagram page if it's a joke or it's to promote her foundation. So it's interesting how she's literally stealing an entire concept, an entire idea by a black owned brand. It's just like so... Next up on my list of anti-haul is the MAC, um, MAC Aaliyah collection. And most MAC collections recently. Love Aaliyah. Oh my god, I love Aaliyah. But I feel like this collection just wasn't done very Aaliyah-y. Do you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I love MAC. And MAC gave me one of the biggest opportunities ever in my career thus far. They were one of the first big brands to ever give me a sponsorship and give me creative freedom. Seriously, working with MAC has been such a fun experience back in 2016 when I did the MAC Shade Sense. But to me, MAC doesn't do anything new anymore. I remember when MAC used to be one of the most innovative makeup brands out there. Before the beauty community was even popping like it is now, everyone knew who MAC was. Like, if you need a makeup product, go to MAC. If you need this, go to MAC. Like. If you weren't at the drugstore, you were at MAC. Do you know what I mean? MAC just lost their spark. And it really breaks my heart, to be honest. Um, and I just, most of their collections and this MAC and Aaliyah collection, I just won't be buying it. Um, and I feel like MAC has now become the new ColourPop in a sense of like they always release a new. Because like, I didn't even know Patrick Starr had two new collections with them. I barely even knew he had one it was just like it's like who does the marketing at mac i don't know it's just not my cup of tea anymore mac is just not the business for me anymore and i know i know i'm probably burning a bridge by saying this and it breaks my heart sorry mac still love you and still i appreciate it literally break it literally just broke my heart to even say that but next up is some things from kat von d beauty i know i am on kat von d pr and i have been very close with some of the girls that work at kat von d some of the girls that no longer work at kat von d um and i love kat von d as a brand it's honestly as a brand i love kat von d as a brand i love the message that goes behind kat von d the brand the person is a whole nother story. To me, a lot of their palettes lately have been very regurgitated, uh, really, really repetitive, and just repackaged old shades. It's kind of like another Too Faced or Tarte Cosmetics situation where a lot of their new stuff is just kind of the same old, same old with new pretty awesome packaging. If that's what you're gonna do, just release some staples. Like the Mi Vida Loca palette that was released in 2015 is still to this day one of my most favorite colorful palettes to this date. Um, and the fact that that wasn't permanent in her collection just still blows my mind. But Kat Von D is one of those brands that release products and then I'm like, okay, do you know what I mean? And no one really cares. I feel like the only thing that's been exciting from Kat Von D to this day is the eyebrow products that they release. And they're actually pretty okay. I love the um, brow products. Um, like I love the the powder brow products and some of the pomades, like the colorful pomades. But as far as their palettes go, as far as as far as like this whole ten year anniversary collection that they're doing, it's just not cute to me. And I feel like it's just the same old, same old with Kat Von D. All right, so I think the last makeup product that I want to talk about, or new brand that I want to talk about, is this new brand by the name of Flesh. 
they're not really a new brand because they are like the prestige version version of Revlon. Um, I believe Revlon is trying to do Revlon and then this this new brand called Flesh. Um, and I've seen a few reviews on the whole Flesh brand, but to me, it doesn't really scream my name. To me, I feel like it's Revlon's take of the Milk Makeups and the Glossier, Glossiers of the world. I feel like Milk Makeup is one of the only brands that can pull the minimalistic look and also pull really good products and really good quality products. To me, Milk Makeup can do no wrong, but maybe I'm biased because I did have a collaboration with Milk Makeup. I don't know. But it's just, um, to me, like the flesh and the glossiers are just not really screaming my name. It also could be because I'm a full coverage kind of bitch and the light coverage shit I'm just not here for. That's probably literally all it is. But again, that's kind of my take on the whole flesh beauty. But yeah, you guys, that is everything. That is all I have to talk about today. I know there was probably a bunch of makeup products that I missed and I just totally forgot are coming out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, my merch is now available. You can go to shopthomashalbert.com to buy it all there. I'm super excited. I can't wait for you guys to get your merch and just everything about that. And I'm trying, I'm going to try to get back on my two post a week kind of schedule on my Mondays or Fridays or my Tuesdays and Saturdays type of schedule. Thank you for being so patient with me and just sticking by my side and just being, just being accepting of me as a person and again thank you so much please subscribe thank you so much for watching i can't wait to see you in my next video i love you so much bye okay bye guys <laughs>